For our last example, we're going to look at how to use differentials to solve for a percent error uh, of approximation. So it's the same as what we've been doing, just adding another extra step. So starting with the first, uh, first step, which we've been doing for the past few examples, um, a volume of a sphere when the radius increases from 4 to 4.4. Now we know the original radius. So going back to what we did for the last problem, v equals 4 thirds pi r squared dv equals 4 pi r squared dr. So we know the change in radius is 0 0.4. And we know the original radius is 4. So we're looking for uh, the change in volume. Well, the change in volume is going to equal 4 pi 4 squared times 0 0.4, uh, which equals about 80.42. So here is our approximation using differentials. But we're looking for the percent error for the uh, approximation from the actual value. So let's find the actual value. Well, the actual value, uh, original volume, is going to equal 4 thirds uh, pi 4 cubed which equals 268.08 if we carry out the arithmetic. The final volume is 4 thirds pi 4.4 cubed. And if we carry that out, we get 356.82. So uh, Vf minus Vnaught, uh, we get a change of 88.74. So kind of close. Uh, to the approximation, but let's see what exact percent change it is. So if you remember percent error is equal to 100% times the actual minus the approximation uh, absolute value of that over the actual. So we get 100% times 88.74 minus 80.42 over 88.74. And if we carry this out, we get a value of 9.4%. So there is a fairly large uh, percent error, so which also increases as we increase um, the values in our problem. So differentials are good for approximation only when we're uh, doing very, very small changes. Um, and as we get bigger in change, uh, differentials become less accurate. So thanks for watching educator.com. We'll see you in the next lesson.